Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Andrew Neo from Island Space Gospel Center in Penang. Tonight, I just want to share about my testimony about what I learned from RBS, which is Residential Bible School. I was born in a Christian family, and every Sunday, I go to church just like any other Christians. And after my primary school and going to secondary school, my father wants me to focus in my studies, and slowly, I stopped going to church, and also stopped going, hanging out with my friends. I had no choice but to obey him. I do not have the freedom anymore and I started to close myself in my room and not be myself anymore. And in my room I only study and I only go outside for tuition. Since then I started to focus on my studies and forgot about God. I didn't pray to God to ask for Him to help me and give me the patience and the calmness in my heart. And I only pray to Him to ask for His help when I need His help in my exam. I started to prioritize material things and just like things like my education because it will help me to get into a good university and then I will have a good life and a comfortable life. But God did not give up on me. I came up to RBS and when I came to RBS, I worried about my results. And I will always pray to God but and pray to Him to give me good results. But from one of the lessons in RBS, which is titled Me and My Media. I came to realize that I had, educa I had made my made education as my idol. I focused so much on my getting good results that every other things did not matter to me anymore. And even during RBS, God has told me not to worry about my results through the morning devotion, which is Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 to 34. So do not worry about these things, what will we need, what will we wear, and what will we drink. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all the things you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries, and today's troubles is enough for today. And I learned that I should not worry. But in my journal and my prayers, I still write and worry about my results. And I found out that I have not completely trusted in God, especially with my results. From another class in RBS about discovering the Father's heart, I realized that because of my Father's expectation to get good results so that I will not fail in my life, has distorted the image of my Father in heaven. After every time I pray, I remember about the criticism from my dad, and I started to worry again. This made me realize that there is an issue with the relationship between me and my dad. When I was 12 years old, my dad promised me a reward if I get straight A in UBSR, but I was not awarded anything with the good results. I was angry and disappointed in him, and I lost my trust in him. That may be the reason why I do not trust fully in God in my prayers. I learned that I have learned I have lies in my heart that make me think that I am fine with my dad decision to control my activities because he cares. I understand that the emotion revealed to my true beliefs and my belief is that my father is controlling me and God is a controlling God. As an earthly father represents God. 
I thought that my father did what my father did to me is what God did to me, does also. I know that I still have something I'm unhappy about, and my father gives me what he thinks it is the best for me. But it's not what I want. That is why I'm unhappy. And I kept it in my heart. And this has eventually grown, became an anger in my heart. But God told me that the anger in my heart has distorted the image of God. And I must fix the relationship between me and my God and with my father and me so that the image of God is fixed. But I also learned that from RBS, they, the teachers and the staffs have stopped me that we are not all perfect humans and my dad does my dad does all these things to me because he also does really love me. He did this to me because I'm mischievous and he don't want me to socialize with the friends who practices those bad habits. And the way he disciplined me also helped me to score an excellent result, an excellent result in my SPM. And I didn't practice any bad habits at all. He, the way he disciplined me also shaped me to be a person who is disciplined and has self-control. And now I'm going to share about my a little bit of my mission trip experience. During the mission trip, I had headaches and I felt like vomiting every day. <laughs> when I needed to talk with the Ara Asli in the youth fellowship, I was reluctant but the Holy Spirit worked with me, worked with me and I just went and talked to the youth. This has shown me how God worked through me and gave me the words to speak. I also found joy when I was involved in the children ministry. I did not know how to interact with the children, but I was forced to anyway. I remembered how I played with my niece, and I did the same way to my to the children. I learned that children ministry is something that I long for and what I want. And I want to be involved in children ministry when I, when I go back to Penang. Before I end my speech, I just want to share about what I learned from this morning devotion, which is Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. And God, I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus, returns. When God starts a project, he completes it. God help you grow in grace until he has com completed his work in your life. When you are discouraged, remember that God won't give up on you. He promises to finish the work He has begun. When you feel incomplete, unfinished, distressed by your shortcomings, remember God's promise and provision. Don't let your present condition rob you of the joy of knowing Christ or keep you from growing closer to God. After being away from God for five years, he has not given up to me on me. This is a proof that He is faithful and He will finish His work He has begun in me. Okay, thank you.